the lawmakers in Utah voting to bring back execution by firing squad. The bill generating, as you would expect, a lot of controversy. The state's Republican governor said not if he is going to sign it. William Wajaness reporting live from our West Coast newsroom on this. So, William, what's going on here? Well, you know, the bullets are available right now. The lethal drugs are not. And advocates say, Martha, that death by firing squad is quick, cheap, effective, and painless. Opponents argue that it's also barbaric, outdated, and not a reputation that Utah wants. But it is now up to the governor, whose spokesman hinted he may sign it. Now, here's why. 32 states have the death penalty. They use lethal injection, was thought to be more humane until two recent cases where inmates did not die instantly or painlessly. So lawyers now argue that lethal injection is cruel and unusual, and the European drug maker now refuses to even send it to the U.S. So the states need an alternative. For Utah, it might be a firing squad. This bill just says we have it. Let's have a backup so we don't spend millions of dollars in court costs trying to adjudicate whether or not we can use this drug cocktail versus this drug cocktail. I think it will be bad if Utah is the only state that is actively uh, shooting people. I just think it's a bad precedent, uh, and I think it's a place we, uh, we shouldn't go. So the problem is Utah has nine inmates on death row, but it has no more lethal injections available. Arkansas is considering a similar solution. They're in the same boat. Martha? So, so how long ago did Utah get rid of uh, the ability to use a firing squad to execute their prisoners? So concerned about the negative publicity, it was around the Winter Olympics, Utah stopped using the firing squad in 2004. Although Ronnie Lee Gardner, who was sentenced under an old law, chose the firing squad in 2010. He was strapped to a chair, a hood on his head, shot in the chest by a five-man firing squad. They aim for his heart. The method is considered instantaneous and less painful than the electric chair. One of those five rifles is selected at random and loaded with a non-lethal bullet so nobody knows who fires the fatal shot. If approved, this would be the new method in Utah. And as I said, some other states, in, in addition to Arkansas, are considering this option because of the problem with the lethal drug. Right. That's Back to an you. interesting debate when you put it that way. William, thank you very much.